You complete me. I want just had shut up. Just shut up. You had me at hello. Oh, baby, you. Everybody, as always, welcome back. Uh, I know, again, this is on a Tuesday, but after like one exam, it, it, you just don't stop. So I'm already studying for our next exam, which is all next week. So, like, we we got done with our exam again. I did extremely well, all that jazz. But coming right into like the next week, you're already learning brand new material, and it just doesn't stop. Again, I just study constantly, like from. As soon as I get home from school at either 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, eat lunch, maybe work out, and then study until dinner time, and then study until I go to bed. It's it's monotonous. It's non-stop studying all the time. And you feel like you would get bored of it, but you never you never really do because you know that you're you don't know the material enough yet. You don't know the material enough yet. So you're not bored with the material and it's like something that you've always wanted to do your entire life so you're excited to learn this stuff but there's just so much and you feel like you're learning the wrong things uh, or you feel like you're focusing on the wrong things especially when you get the exam so like you'll get the exam and you're like I wasted five hours studying that stupid lecture and there was two questions on it so you, you take in you take what you can get and you try your best but ultimately you just don't stop studying um, but enough with the rant uh, on studying. I guess it's medical school. Like, why am I complaining? Um, so this past weekend was med school prom or like a ball dance, whatever you want to call it. Um, so basically, all the medical students from our school, they bring their dates or they get dates themselves. We all wear like um, our nicest kind of clothes, exactly what you would wear to prom. Like, so all the girls are wearing like long dresses. All the guys are wearing like really nice suits and. Some even wore, like, tuxedos and things. So everybody looked extremely nice, and it was really fun. Um, the food wasn't that great. Uh, I'll, I'll say that right now. But it was it was still food, and I had a good time. I liked seeing everybody dressed up and getting to talk to a few people I haven't seen in a while. Um, I don't know if you just saw the ladybug that flies around, but I've got, I would say, 100 ladybugs, either dead or alive in this room right now. Uh, most of them are on the windowsill. Um, but they just, they're everywhere, and I don't know how to get rid of them. <laughs> and there he goes. That's, that's a ladybug. Um, I, I can't stand them. They just fly, they fly everywhere, and I don't know what their aim is. I don't know where they come from. I, my, I have plastic on my window, so they're not coming in through the window. I don't know where they're coming from. So, if anybody has any idea, please help me, because they're so annoying. Um... Anyway, uh, so med school prom was really fun, but it was just like too long of a break to take from school when we have an exam, final exams, before our spring break coming next week. So it's not only an exam in, um, in just like class material, you also have an anatomy exam, because we're in respiratory block, so you have to know um, all the anatomy and physiology for in like a human cadaver. And then on top of that, you have clinical skills finals, which at the beginning of the year I was talking about pelvic exams. And today I had the, today Tuesday, I had the, my pelvic exam final. So for a final for a clinical skills is they have you sitting outside the room getting ready um, to, and there's a patient inside the room. So it's basically set up as if it was just a regular visit to the office. And what you end up doing is you get a chart and it's 
they're all standardized patients. They know what they're coming in for. Um, they're briefed before that we get in there, and they know that we're students too, and it's set up that way on purpose. So medical schools do this all the I, I would guess all the time, um, and I think the standardized because patients get paid a certain amount. I don't know how much it is. I've heard fifty dollars. I've heard hundred dollars each session. I don't know. Um, I just know that I'm there to do my best. So the patient's sitting in the room, and you have the chart outside. You don't open it until you're allowed to, and you get a certain amount of time. This time it was 30 minutes to do a full history, physical exam, and kind of like sum up. And then you have like 20 minutes to write your SOAP note. So SOAP is just an acronym for subjective. So that's like when you ask a person what they have, they tell you a subjective amount of information because you don't know if they're telling the truth or not, so you just have to take them at the word. So subjective, you have O, which is um, your objective, so that's what you see, um, and that's what you're like trained to see as a physician. So, um, for example, uh, somebody might say that they have ear pain, so that's subjective. So you look in their ear, and everything looks normal. That's objective. Um, and then uh, the A is assessment, so like what do you think the person has? Um, and then P, which is your plan, so things that you're going to do based on the SOA. Uh, we don't end up doing the A and P because we don't know. An, these standardized patients are don't de we don't do the uh, A and the P just because the standardized patients don't actually have the disease or a specific disease that they're um, told to act out or describe. Um, I, I think I assume that we're going to end up getting there, but. At a well woman visit, um, you don't end up, um, you don't really have an assessment or a plan unless you find abnormalities. So, uh, so you get 20 minutes to write and type out your uh, subjective and objective part of the exam, and you're just like furiously writing. So, just as kind of getting prepared for a clinical skills exam, you're just like running through your head all the tests that you're doing and you're like mimicking in your room on like stuffed animals like people say that they're like mimicking on stuffed animals for like okay looking through your hair to see if you have any lesions or um looking pretending to like look in their eyes with their uh fundus uh fundoscope so just like anything that they can do to try to remember all the different parts of the exam that they have to do and then you like practice and time yourself about like writing things down and trying to remember like what normal is supposed to read out as. So everything changes. My roommate brought back pizza. So you're writing out normal over and over and over again and eventually just like I guess I'm gonna finish on time. That's about it. Um, so you end up just going into the exam, you're like half nervous because you kind of want to get it done uh, at the end. And after, you're like, as you're about to go in, you're ready to go into the exam, um, you're like sitting out there and you're like ready, like you're waiting to put your hand on, on the uh, clipboard to get all the information. And then you write down all your information that you need so that you know to remember to do this and ask about these questions. You get in there and you feel like you're just you have to keep going and you feel like you can't spend any time with this person even though you have 30 minutes to do the exam so you're doing the exam and you're just like thinking okay did I forget something am I doing something next because they're not allowed to help you you have to go through the entire exam and you have cameras on you the whole time because the preceptors are gonna watch to make sure that you're not like breaking anything to make sure that you're not hurting anybody that you're not doing anything you're not supposed to things like that so you have a camera watching you you have a timer on you have um, the patient who knows what you're supposed to be doing and not doing, and they're not allowed to tell you if you're doing a good job or a bad job, and you just do your best. <laughs> um, so you, I ended up finishing like right on 30 minutes, and that seems pretty consistent with like what I normally do. I usually take the entire time. Um, and then my soap note, I was done, I don't know, I guess with five minutes left, but nothing to worry about there. And then I have... Uh, another class that lasted until 5 o'clock, and then I worked out until 6 o'clock. I, I had to go to the grocery store. I had to make dinner. So now it's like 8 o'clock at night, and now I'm just starting stunning. So now I'll be up until 2 in the morning because I just this is the first that I can start doing things. Uh, tomorrow is just as worse. Um, I've got a class from 8 a.m. until 12 o'clock, 
and then I have to go, I have to drive an hour to a shadowing, like we're required to do shadowing every semester, so I have to drive an hour to a shadow, and they set it up for us, um, so I have to drive an hour to the place that I'm shadowing, and you get dressed up in uh, your white coat and everything, so you drive an hour, I have four hours there, then I have to drive an hour back, I'm working out again after that, then I'm going to eat dinner, and then I have to do more studying. So tomorrow I'll be up until 3 in the morning. Thursday, same story. 8 o'clock until 5 o'clock. Friday is the first time I get off at 12 o'clock. But I'm still studying, like, night in, night out. And Saturday, same thing. And then you have an exam on Tuesday, an exam on Wednesday, another one on Thursday, and then another one on Friday. It just keeps going. And <laughs> But after that, <clears throat> but after that, we have our spring break. So because we have our final at the end of next week, right before spring break, uh, it's going to be like our first legitimate break from school since we started. Because even though we had winter break, uh, we still had, we were halfway through cardiovascular block. So we still kind of needed to keep up on the information or at least be thinking about it. I didn't do anything over break when I probably should have. It didn't really affect me too much. Um, so it'll be our first real break, but it's only a week. Uh, I know a lot of people travel. My plans sort of fell through, but I'm not I'm not that worried about it. I'm not a big traveling person, so I'm just happy to relax. So I guess I just got to get back to the grind. Uh, thanks again so much for watching. Uh, I'll try to get a video out on Monday next week, but um, until next time, guys, I'll see you.